All right, for your third and final problem, we're going to talk about odds in favor and probability. So let me read the problem. You are coloring with your little sister. You have a box of crayons to use. There are four yellows, two reds, five blues, six pinks, and three greens. So these are your total amount of crayons. Now there are two things we're going to talk about. What are the odds in favor of getting a pink crayon? And what is the probability of getting a pink crayon? You will notice in both of these, they ask a similar question, but this one talks about something called odds in favor, and this one talks about probability. The difference between the two is that odds in favor talks about the odds of something occurring compared to the odds of all the other options, versus probability talks about what is the chance that something can occur compared to all of the options that you have. So let's try this. The first thing that we need to do to do odds in favor of getting a pink crayon is to realize how many chances do we have to get a pink crayon. Over here we see that we have six pinks. So that means we have six options of getting a pink crayon. The other side of odds in favor is how many other options do we have? We have four yellows, two reds, five blues, and three greens. So we need to add those up to find out what is left. So four plus two plus five plus three. We get four plus two is six, six plus five is 11, 11 plus three is 14. So when we come over here, we have six to 14 chances. This can also be written as a fraction, six over 14. We can also simplify this or reduce. Half of 6 is 3, half of 14 is 7 because they're both even numbers. Now we go to the second part. What is the probability of getting a pink crayon? Once again, we need to look at how many options we have or how many choices we have to get a pink crayon. Like we said, we have 6 pinks. So we are back at 6. Now what goes on the other side of the colon for probability is what is the total chances that we could get a pink, okay? Or the total chances that we could get any color. So here we added up already the other options. Let's also add the six pinks into it. So 14 plus six gives me 20 total chances. So I make this as six to 20. I can also write it as a fraction, six over 20. And then I can reduce because they're both even. Half of six is three. Half of 20 is 10. So you notice 6 to 14 or 6 to 20. They look a little bit different because it's the odds of getting a pink versus what's left over or the odds of getting a pink versus what are your total chances. 